Om Shanti, we're going to do the recording of 15th of May. Today's blessing where Supreme Father wants us to use all the knowledge, all the power, all the blessing which he has given us at the right time, at the right moment. And not forget about it when the time is right. That means if we have the tools but we don't use it at the right time. And then we remember, that, oh, I had this tool with me in my house. And we forget about that tool. The work is gone. The time is spent and then we recognize that place where we had kept that tool, it becomes quite late then. So God says in a similar manner, same fashion, if you forget to use any of the powers, any of the virtues at the time where the situation demanded it, wanted it, then you're not being powerful, you're not being truthful to yourself. Let's find out more about it. God says, may you keep busy doing service at every moment as a world benefactor, full of all treasures. To do service doesn't mean that one needs to speak it out. One can do service when that person is in connection with somebody, looking at something, when that person is just cleaning even a utensil. And the other person who's looking at them sees them doing it completely in depth, in complete deep connection with that karma. That also means that that soul is in connection with the self, is enjoying the work and is feeling as if that soul is doing some godly duty. Without any ego, without having any kind of impure thoughts towards others. So God says you can do service while doing even menial jobs small jobs so god says souls who are instruments for world benefit will first themselves be full of all treasures godly treasures are those treasures where we can actually use those treasures of knowledge and make our mind stable in any kind of situation like the treasure of drama like the treasure of the complete cycle like the treasure of our previous births. Somebody has asked, had asked me this question when I was in Delhi. What is the benefit for me to know about my previous births? And what is the benefit of me to know that how many ages are there or what next age is going to come? What is the benefit to me? So a simple answer would be, if I know what I was in the past and if I get to know what I need to do now so as to make my future better. What mistakes of the past that I need to rectify so that now my future becomes better. In a similar manner, we are not just talking about this birth. We are talking about previous births where God can tell us that my child, in so many births, in so many situations, you had done so many good things, that means good deeds, and so many of them were impure deeds so now you have to face those impure deeds so somebody can come and shout at you somebody can come and take your money away somebody can get married to you and then leave you and go away give you a divorce somebody can be born as a child in your family and take away all your wealth and leave you alone not even allow you to come home or enter the home enter your own house so what would you do then the knowledge of past life, not just past life, past lives and what I need to do now in this situation when I'm facing these troubles. How do I need to make my future better and how do I need to protect my willpower, my enthusiasm even though these situations demand me to use anger, ego, law or any kind of negativity and recreate a new karma. Instead of facing these things, instead of tolerating, instead of taking the right decisions, I plan to attack that situation or that person. So God says, if you get to know about your past, then you can actually make a decision right now so as to make your future better. <coughs> so that complete knowledge when we have, God says, then you are full of treasures of knowledge and you have full knowledge. Let there not be anything missing. You will then be said to be full. Some have full 
treasure but are unable to use it at the time of need. If suppose in your house you have an almira and you forget that you have kept all the important documents over there and then when the time comes you are running around to the different departments and you are seeking help from others for that very document which you had taken out 10 years back. You have that treasure which can instantly, if you look into the Almira, you can instantly save time. You can instantly find out faster, easier, simpler methods to get your work done. But you've forgotten that treasure. You've forgotten that that document which is so important to you for getting that work done is right there and you're just searching around. You're demanding people, commanding people, getting angry with people, getting angry with the department for getting the same document. Your time is getting wasted, your energy is getting wasted, your money is getting wasted. So God says, and then later on when you come back home, after doing three, four turns to that office, you realize, oh, I have that document, I think, let me check it in my Almira, I kept it safe 10 years back. And God says, if you remember it later, so much is done in terms of energy, in terms of time, in terms of your emotions, mentally, emotionally physically you have drained yourself and you remember now that you had kept the document there similarly if you forget to use the knowledge of the drama if you forget to use the knowledge of nothing new if you forget to use the knowledge that whose child am i and what was i so royal so powerful in my previous birth if i don't know that knowledge how will i even act like that royal being how will I even act or think like a pure being when I don't know that God had created me very pure in my past life? So God says, But are unable to use it at a time of need. Then after the time for using it has gone by, you think about it, that would not be said to be full. Full benefactor souls will keep busy doing service at every moment in their thoughts, words, actions, relationships and connections that means they will never forget the godly treasure because they've enjoyed using the treasure to make their own mind stable and they would like to and they would love to help others to make their mind stable then powerful because that's the joy of serving that's the joy of being a world benefactor spreading happiness spreading power spreading stability brings back that to us in our life how do you do that for yourself first and then others is what we learn at Brahma Kamaris. With this, Om Shanti.